Hello and welcome, this is Chris Wren, and today I'm going to be showing you some pretty cool hardware and a new app I've worked on uh, that can kind of showcase some of the coolness of this hardware. Uh, so what's new is this is an Oculus Rift that I've put together alongside um, an AR rig. And so the AR rig is a couple webcams, HD webcams. Uh, in this case, they're Logitech C310s. Many thanks to Will Steptoe for his research on this matter, and uh, also Brandon Pomeroy who helped me out a little bit with some of the camera um, setup, and also uh, with this mount that he uh, 3D printed. Very cool. Um, anyway, it looks a lot less ghetto than it used to. I used to have this thing put together with uh, scotch tape and, and cardboard and things, and it just wasn't that pretty. It worked, but it wasn't that pretty. Uh, now it actually works really well, and it's pretty. Um, so. Uh, what we're going to look at today, what, why you want to do this, um, Oculus Rift is by default, at least DK1, by default a VR headset. It doesn't ha see the real world at all. It just sees what's inside the screen. Um, and so it was good at like really immersive 3D games, but you couldn't really do AR with it. Um, and it had this awesome uh, 3D view once you had the headset on, but you couldn't see through to the real world. So what I've been working on um, for the last couple months is taking that's taking those cool experiences like the Tuscany demo and other things and making them AR experiences. Um, but just getting the basic Tuscany AR uh, experience was cool, but not quite there. Like it wasn't designed to be an AR experience. Um, and so I built an app that we're going to look at today that kind of showcases how this might be used. Um, so to do that, we're doing a couple things. We're going to be looking at uh, how Leap Motion can interface with, with a system like this and how we can actually use um, this pass-through technology um, to generate a 3D scene in Oculus Rift that, that works really well, that gives you that immersive feel just like any game would in Oculus Rift. Um, but in this case, we're using two different webcams. So we've got binocular vision uh, with about a 64, 65 millimeter offset, just like humans. Um, and so we're trying to really hard to get the physical elements of this um, accurate. All right, that said, um, so I've got this app up. This is called Ren AR Desk Hoops. It's available on my website. Um, and what we're looking at is binocular vision. As I'm looking at the screen, you can kind of see what the Oculus, what the Oculus Drift is seeing. Um, you see that I have two cameras. If I put my hand in front of the right camera, you see that. If I put my hand in front of the left camera, you see that. And you can see that they're two different cameras entirely. Okay. Um, they're slightly offset to give the stereoscopic look and feel. So if you look really close, you'll see that they're not quite emulating the exact same thing on both screens. They're a little bit different. They're a little bit offset to give you that stereoscopy. I've also programmed this app so that uh, you have some, the ability to kind of move uh, these images around a little bit um, as, ne as needed to kind of get the convergence that you, that you want um, in an app like this. Uh, because everybody's eyes are a little bit different, uh, I just put in some controls to, to control that. Um, anyway, so looking at this app, what it does, uh, it's using the leap motion, as I mentioned. And as I put my hand, in this case, over the leap motion sensor, you will see that on screen, there's a hand that moves around as well. Okay, And it's moving around, just not, not just positioning, but it is also rotational data in terms of how my hand's uh, rotated. And that seems to work really well. Um, I've put in, I've had a grip before for my furniture demo. I changed that to kind of a grip ball. So again, I'm stealing from Sixth Sense. They had a really cool hand, so I just stole it and all its animations. And I've got that hooked up to my own thing so that uh, when I do grips, it actually opens up the hand a little bit to kind of hold a basketball, um, which is what we're going to do today. Uh, so looking at this demo, um, as I move my hand around, I've got it like a ghost ball over here. As I go over it, you see it highlights. If I grip, I actually grab a ball, and then I can release the ball. And I can release the ball any direction I want. So any direction I point my hand is the direction that the ball will shoot. Now how far the ball shoots is based on a power meter that I set up that's visible in the Oculus Rift. It's only in one viewport. I could put it in both viewports, but it actually I found that it worked really well just having it in one viewport. Uh, it's kind of like a semi-transparent overlay. Uh, it seems to work really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab let me grab another ball and just show you kind of how the shooting works a little bit more. You see the power meter go up, and I release the ball. And again, the ball goes in whatever direction I want. So if I want it to kind of go left, for example, I release it left, and it shoots left. If I want to release it kind of, let's say, for example, um, up into the right. Let me grab it. 
go. There we go. Just tilt my hand up into the right. And it's kind of up and straight. Hang on. It's because my leap motion is kind of off to the side here. There you go. I kind of flubbed it off to the right. Anyway, uh, so I do have directional shooting ability with this, which is pretty cool. Um, just using my hand, I can grab balls, I can move them around, and I can shoot them at will. All right, and we're still not AR. We're looking at some cool 3D technology here, and we're looking at um, the ability to uh, manipulate things in 3D space using elite motion. So that's kind of AR, uh, but we're not quite there yet because we're not married to the real world. Um, so what we need to do, we're just shooting things off into space right now, is we need to have some kind of AR reference. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to use uh, my business card and just we're going to create that. And if you look down, you see that what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my Rift look at it. And if you look on the screen, you'll see that my Rift is now looking at the business card. And I'm going to do 3D tracking on it, which means that it's going to instantly create essentially an image target based on this. And so now my business card is an AR target. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so if I get really lucky here, I'm going to be able to use my leap motion here, go grab a ball, and if I get really, really lucky, I might actually make it in the hoop. Not with that one, maybe a different one, let's see. All right, come on, there we go. Give me that ball. Oh, that one looks pretty good, let's see. Ah, oh, just over. Anyway, so it does work. It works pretty well. I could tune it up a little bit to make the shooting a little bit easier. Um, but this this is working really well for me. I'm really happy with the outcome. Um, again, this is available as an executable off my website. Um, not the easiest thing in the world to use because you need an Oculus Rift, you need a couple webcams, and you need a Leap Motion. Uh, but fortunately for you, I have um, a mobile APK version of this as well. And so likewise, I can do the same thing where I can create a target off of anything. In this case, I'll do it off my business card again, maybe. This camera's not quite as, there we go, it did work. And this one's a little bit easier to use as well. So actually, I'm not gonna set up the air side because it's too hard with the camera. Um, but essentially, this one just shoots the ball straight and straight is whatever direction you're facing. So depending on where the AR target is, um, the power meter still works the same. You just touch anywhere on the screen and it launches a ball. All right, but essentially the same, same functionality. So a couple versions of this, there's an Android version and we've got an executable version that works with Oculus Rift. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'm gonna be showcasing some of this stuff at the Augmented Reality Conference, Augmented World Expo coming up uh, next week in May. Take care.